Hey guys, uh, in this video we shall try to uh, define step response of a LTI system uh, and also we shall try to derive uh, the output of, uh, I mean we shall try to derive the step response of a both continuous time as well as uh, discrete time LTI system. Okay, so it is defined as it is the response of the system. When I say response of the system response is nothing but what it is nothing but output from the system y of t or y of n okay so it is the response of a system when i say system it is an lta system okay so it is the response of a system and the input to the system is unit step function and it is not denoted by a small letter s of n okay so consider we have a system we have an lta system it has an impulse response of h of t say continuous time system it is it has an impulse response of h of t and input to the system is say x of t and what is the output from the system how do we denote our output it is y of t right right and what is y of t if it is an lta system it is nothing but convolution of input signal x of t with the impulse response h of t correct no now so since we are defining step response what is the input i need to feed input is what unit step function right so if i feed the input as u of t which is unit step function so its response is nothing but its response is nothing but unit step response s of t okay the way we defined impulse response right what was the impulse response how, how was the impulse response defined it is nothing but it is the response of a system if, uh, if the input is x of t and the output is y of t and <coughs> if I feed input as delta of t which is unit impulse function what is the output? output is h of t right it is the impulse response S same way if the input is unit step function output is step response right and this holds good for discrete time systems as well okay so now we shall try to derive uh, the equation first we shall try the uh, try to derive uh, for uh, discrete time system later on we will derive for continuous time system fine okay so equation for equation of e equation of step response of a LTA system ok so as we said we have a discrete time LTA system its impulse response is h of n input we are feeding is x of n so what is the output output what we get is y of n right fine so y of n what is the equation of y of n it is convolution right which is summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k right and in short we represent it as h of n is equal to what input sequence x of n convolved with impulse response h of n star is the convolution operator and convolution holds good commutative property okay so i can write x of n star h of n is equal to h of n star x of n Fine. So uh, instead of writing x of n star h of n, I'll write it as h of n star x of n. So y of n is equal to what? H of n star x of n. Right? Now if I expand this uh, equation, what do I get? Summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity. So I have x of k. Instead I have to write h of k. And I have h of n minus k. Instead I have to write x of n minus k. Okay, now what I do, what I do instead of feeding x of n as input, I feed u of n. Okay, so if I feed u of n in a step function, what is the output I get? It is a step response, right? S of n. So, so for for 
x of k is equal to u of k uh, sorry x of n is equal to u of n come on what is the output if i feed input as u of n what is the output i get it is nothing but unit step response s of n right correct now okay so what i do in this equation uh, feeding x of n i feed u of n so what will be the output y of n is s of n okay therefore what is the output so s of n output is s of n right because since i am feeding unit step uh, function there so some is equal to what summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity h of k and input i am feeding is u of n minus k previously it was x of n minus k so i re replaced it by u of n minus k therefore output y of n will become s of n and what is s of n s of n is nothing but unit step function okay now so if i know this u of n minus k varies from where to where okay so i can replace this index to this summation uh, interval and i can ignore this unit step function why because unit step function is one right so we'll see, we'll see what is the index of this u of n minus k and mind you here the uh, independent variable is k not n okay since k so it is uh, since summation value is k, so the independent variable is k. So what is u of k looks like? u of k is something like this. Now let's start from zero and then set infinity, and its value is one, right? And this is k. Fine. If u of k is this, what is u of n minus k? First, I need to bring this in the standard form. This is nothing but u of minus k plus n right since the independent variable is k so i need to bring it uh, the first term should be the independent variable so i bought it as u of minus k plus n right so this involves precedence rule right so this involves precedence rule and what the precedence rule says first if the sequence involves both uh, time scaling and time shifting operation so how to perform shifting operation first and then how to do the scaling operation right we will call it a dummy uh, or intermediate sequence v of n which for which we are going to perform only shifting operation which is k plus n right while shifting ignore the scaling part while uh, while scaling ignore the shifting part so if i know u of k what is u of k plus n it is nothing but u of k shifted left n times right so this is how it looks like so this, this is 0, this is minus n. This is k. So u of k, this u of k shifted left n times. So left since it is n, so it is minus n. Right? Now what I now what I need to do? So I need to consider the scaling part. What is the scaling part here? It is Sorry, this is k, right? U of k. Since it is k, this is k. What is the scaling part? So it is nothing but I have to take mirror image of v of k, right? If I take mirror image of v of k, if this is v of k, what is its mirror image? So if say if this is zero, so this flips like this, right? Since it is minus n, so this start from n, and this is going to plus infinity. Here it goes to minus infinity, right? So it is something like this. This amplitude is one, so this is k. Okay, so what is this? U of this is nothing but what? I have to replace k by minus k, right? Minus k plus n is nothing but u of n minus k. U of n minus k. So this sequence is u of n minus k sequence, which is varying from where minus infinity till where till this n. Okay, where I keep this n, it depends upon that. Fine. Now what I will do in this equation, so this, the summation range, I will keep it as minus infinity till n, okay, and for minus infinity till n, what is the amplitude of u of n minus k, it is 1, so I will replace this by 1, fine, so s of n is equal to summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity, sorry, minus infinity to n, so minus infinity to n, h of k into 1. 
since u of n minus k value is 1 for k varying from minus n to 1. So, this is uh, the equation for step response. Step response of a LTI system. So, it is also called as running running sum of impulse response impulse response so why we call it as running sum because the, the summation of impulse response depends upon uh, the independent variable k which is varying from minus infinity till where i keep this n value which i will convince you while solving the problem on step response okay now we, we shall try to derive uh, the equation for uh, 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 equation of step response of a continuous time system. So, uh, the procedure is same. So consider a continuous system which has an impulse response h of t, input is x of t, and output is y of t. So, what is the step response when the input is u of t? What is the output? Output is s of t. Okay. So, y of t, I can write it as what? Uh, y of t, I can write it as input convolved with impulse response h of t, right? And from the commutative property, y of t, I can write it as h of t convolved with x of t, right? And this is nothing but y of t is equal to integrating from minus infinity to infinity h of tau x of t minus tau d tau. So, what I'll do for x of t is equal to unit step function u of t. What is the output? y of t is s of t, right? So, instead of writing y of t, I'll write it as s of t, which is equal to integrating from minus infinity to infinity h of tau u of t minus tau d tau. And what is how u of t minus tau is varying from minus infinity to minus infinity to t, right? So, minus infinity to t. So, since it is discrete time and continuous time, this will be tau, this is t. Okay. So, what do we have? S of t is equal to integrating from minus infinity to t, h of tau, and if this is 1, so d tau. So, this is the step response of a continuous time system.